Hello everyone and welcome to the second official Cowcast podcast thing. I don't know. What is this thing? Is it a podcast? Is um, it a it's a cow patch. Podcast? It's a cow patch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, no, the patch. It's a patch of good guys. Yeah, that is true. We are a patch of good guys. So joining us this week, uh, we have with us C0. How are you doing, my friend? I'm right, thank you. Good, good. And we also have the Silver Joker. How's it going? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where's your audio gone? <laughs> Here we go. Get out, boys. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is going that's to be the uh, international lag. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I have like just normal domestic lag. Look at this. Uh, um, so if, if I uh, if I look a little bit like I'm you know dubbed over, um, that's because I am. Uh, no, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So. Um, yeah, so basically we're going to discuss a bunch of topics for uh, Star Citizen, you know, 3.7, um, upcoming Citizen Con, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so um, I suppose we might as well just dive straight in. So do you want to start with 3.7? Should we talk about kind of how that's been for everyone? Yeah, yeah, we could start with that. We've got the new patch just out. Uh, it's a hot fix for 371. Uh, I've only been in it for about half an hour and the experience was not great. Um, yeah. I, I'm fully aware that uh, Zero and Joker have been in it a lot more than we have so far. So, uh, w what's your kind of opinions on it? Let's start with Zero. Go for it. Yeah. Oh, well, I haven't been in it that long because uh, I think I've only been in a couple of hours. But, but yeah, my main problem has been just because I had so many times where I've had to um, get the whole thing reset and build everything and buy everything oh, again. Yeah. So, you had that whole ship's missing yeah. parts and stuff. Yeah, didn't so you? I had the components lost and so that's been the painful bit for me. Yeah. But the, the bed locking works great. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I can get one um, thing right. Maybe. Yeah, but like already the bounty, some of them are missing. Yeah. And that's like your mm. first bit of route of getting some money. That's an annoyance that it's been in the last few patches and it's still there. <laughs> I can get rid of that one. Yeah, um, what about stability for you? Uh, have you had too many problems like frames and all that kind of stuff, or have you been running quite smooth? Yeah, well, we, we had a strange one. We were in the server yesterday and uh, went to a USA server and it was fine, but uh, EU server, you, the frame rate was about half as much as the USA mm -hmm. one. Okay. And we were getting stop stutters and st stops, so yeah. But yeah. I haven't had any 30Ks in this patch so far, but I've not been in that long, so... I've noticed that, that at since least. 371, I think I noticed that. The last couple yeah. of streams we've had, we've had no 30Ks whatsoever. Mm. Just yeah, frame, so that, that's frame an improvement. Rate. That's about as much as a measure I've got, I've got of it at the moment, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, Silver? Uh, how's it been treating you? Oh, pretty ordinary to be honest. Uh, yeah, like Zero said, the um, bounties are bugging out, and uh, mind the dog. Uh, so yeah, and you can't share bounties a lot of the time. You definitely can't share the assessments and the pro teams. Um, and we just found out this afternoon if I've already accepted a mission and I need help, I can't drag a guy into the party and share it with him while I'm already in it. Right. And the other bug too is killing the ships and their player model still floating around in space <clears throat> saying, kill me, but you can't. You can just smear him on your window and maybe get him stuck in your door and shit. Uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't get paid. Yeah. And um, interdictions are just, just mental. Um, still. You know, like, you don't mind getting interdicted for rocks because, fair enough, it's a big rock in your face, but... If you're getting pulled out of quantum for a police fighting a buccaneer, you know, mm. don't stop me for that shit. Yeah. Um, and also you'll get pulled out for like a, a debris of a broken down prospector that you can't actually see because it's black. Right. So if mm. you get pulled out and you can't see anything, always dip down before you recalibrate because you'll run straight into it and die. <laughs> oh, uh, not heard of that one. Yeah, and um, Atmo ceilings on uh, the planets were meant to be at 25 kilometres, and they're still at 80 and 100. 
yeah. on on R Corp. I think they're eighty, and Hurston's still a hundred. So, yeah. and that hasn't been fixed. Um, and yeah, and trade runs are just pretty pretty much not even there. I mean, we've found a niche trade market, but there's no backloads anywhere. Um, if you take massive caterpillars to Olasa, the Olasa doesn't actually have enough money to buy it. So you're right. sitting there selling drip feed, drip feed, and it's like, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, and, and you can't backload anywhere. There's no, there's, there's no, you know, game loop, so to speak. It's just go there, go there, kill yourself. So you save a train ride, get paid. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. There, there's a few things like that. But like Zero said, the bed logging is working okay for me. It's still hard to find the actual log out bit when you're sitting in your bed. But yeah, yeah it, we've had some crashes. And and another thing too is when we, um, we got a big group together, say 10 of us, the latency right. seems to bug you out a lot. In bigger ships, when you're quantuming, you'll quite often have someone just fall out the back of the ship when they're yeah. two million k's behind you, or dropping out of turrets and stuff like that. So yeah, I've seen I that. Mean, one. Yeah, I think that's going to be an ongoing problem anyway with the way it's all client side. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's just the way it's 3.7's panning out. It's yeah, it's all right, but you got to bear with it. Yeah. Good patient tester. <laughs> that seems to be like the yeah that that's basically the the tagline I think for most of their patches the past you know few iterations is you know it's okay but mm. you know, give it time um, and um, three point seven for me has been okay ish I mean when that that PTU come out I was literally I was like I'm n- not going to play it I wouldn't play it this month or this you know cycle if I could but when it came out mm. on the PTU it was a lot better but um, the um, the, the, like 30 k's were a problem but yeah like you said i haven't i didn't even have a 30k in the last um hot fix patch so um that seemed okay um, well i've had three so oh, really yeah that's yeah. not too bad i suppose but <laughs> for the hours that you put in yeah that's the thing yeah it depends on how long you play um so um you know if you're playing for eight hours and you get a 30k you think that's not too bad but if you're playing for half an hour <laughs> and you get a 30k that's a pain in the ass mm. but, um, yeah roger that yeah i mean that the, the 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 thing that made me laugh was the um the, the bunker missions we did the other night um which were just i mean it worked we all are apart from me messing up quite a lot we all got there and did bunker missions um and it was fun and it was awesome that we didn't crash everyone managed to get there you know where all of our stuff actually kind of worked guns fired but then we had this sort of zerd rush of <laughs> npcs just yeah. changed us um that but, yeah, that was disappointing the other thing with bunkers too is the size for attrition's now i find like in the freelancer miss if you're coming in um you can't have your guns on fixed mode and you can't have them on assist you actually have to gimbal them and move around yeah. so your guns go on point otherwise you can't hit the turrets yeah. They go either side or they go above it or something like that. Yeah. Rail guns aren't shooting straight, especially not on my resolution anyway. Twenty five sixty by ten eighty. Yeah. They just—I don't even know where it's shooting. You point that way and it's going that way. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um. And I did have a—I did do a bunker run by myself. I didn't finish it. I got roasted. Yeah. <laughs> but. I went in there, killed the first guy, then they start rushing me, so I sort of killed a couple, then ducked down to reload. When I popped back up, they were all formed like tactical soldiers behind cover, and they just absolutely roasted me. Like, it's sort of, I don't know if it was a lag thing or what, but they picked up their game anyway. Yeah. Sometimes they rush. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, um, they weren't brilliant before, but they did have a bit of tactics and they, they did use cover and, and they were spread out a lot more and it made it more fun to go like through all of the um, the, the bunker. Um, mm. the, them rushing you like that's terrifying, but a bit boring mm. after a while. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you said, if they could mix that, if they could get the tactics right and then have them spread out a little bit more in the bunker, that would be awesome because uh, I did enjoy it. Yeah. That, so. 
Yeah, well, it's I went in last night with a Valkyrie full of soldiers, and we had about six or seven of us actually in the bunker doing it, you know, tactically, yeah. and not one of us got hit if you do it properly. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's very hard to do it by yourself. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I think if you're not going in tactically, then you get what we had, which was where people were just running across other people's fire and all sorts of stuff. And um, yeah, yeah, it's it's dangerous. So the, so. the thing. The thing we were thinking about combating that is everybody have a laser sight on your guns, so you know, you know, characters with laser sights yeah. are your guys, or even um, having the same armor color, going yeah. bright green or just green, just for the bunker run, you know, yeah. and then take it off yeah. and you're doing other stuff. It could be and easy. tell the guys at the front to just not keep running left and right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. that's true. It's all about <laughs> pacing, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So what about caves? Yes, so. Have you had much in caves, Zero? Um, I've had a couple of times in caves. Uh, had some little weird bits like got stuck in an area and even though there was a way out, it just wouldn't work. You could see that there was like a bit where you could crouch to get through, but the crouching wasn't working, so you couldn't get out. So I was trapped there mm. quite a while. <laughs> Tried jump in every direction, couldn't get out of it. But um, <laughs> yeah, so only escape, kill yourself. That's it, yeah. <laughs> but, Otherwise, they've been pretty good, uh, and you know there is some really interesting areas in there. There was one bit where there's all that like, green glowing on the ceiling, and it really looked a spectacular little uh, space in there. So. Yeah, yeah. I've heard a few people say you can make some decent money from mining in those things, um, but we haven't really been in them too much. I think we're due, due to do that in a stream soon. Yeah. Uh, actually, do a bit of a mining expedition and uh, see how much we can make out of it. Um, overall though I think it's a, a pretty good thing to add into the game we've um, we seem to have lost a few rest stop stations uh, as a price for having caves though yeah. um, there's a was it Her L2 it is now removed and Crusader L5 I think is gone now as well um, yeah. so I think this is going to be a, an ongoing thing now until they get the server meshing and OCS sorted out Properly. Yeah. Um, if they're thinking of putting Microtech in the next patch, then I fully expect we're going to lose a planet somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, that's the problem. It's, you know, swings and roundabouts. You, you know, it, they've got a finite amount of space now. And um, you're trying to put something huge in, they're going to have to lose something. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see uh, see what gets uh, gets cut. Uh, caves for me were awesome. I loved that cave and run we did. Um, and um, in fact, it, um, it, it was yesterday actually that I was editing the, the Spectral Drama video and I was using that cave footage and it was so fun to cut up because it's so cinematic, it's so pretty in there. I'm, I'm so impressed with the lighting and everything. And um, there's that bit obviously where you die, uh, yeah. which is hilarious. Um, and um, <laughs> that just made me made me cry when I was editing that. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, just everything kind of just looks right and i'm i'll save i've saved a bit of that footage for the next video um which is where i was on my own and going through the bigger cave system and that was unreal just going through it was scary um on your own just going through that cave system um and then there was just like massive bits we had to like jump and mantle which is really good so um that for me is that's probably my biggest plus i think of this patch so far is the the caves they're just they're awesome absolutely awesome what about asa have, have you been in much much cave action uh myself not a whole lot but yeah they have done it um yeah 10 out of 10 for sound sounds magic yeah they look cool but there's just no substance there's just nothing in there yeah. i mean yeah we need some creatures it'd be cool if, around obviously <laughs> Yeah, like we can start dreaming. I mean, you put pirates and, you know, put like a bunker mission. You've got people down in there that you've got to kill. Yeah, and, exactly. You know, or something yeah. like that. And and have areas that have look like they've got lights and been lived in. Make them something, you know. But, yeah, the yeah. mining itself, you know, it's all right. And apparently it's quite easy. Like once you've got a full backpack, you just go back to your ship and you look at your cargo grid and you can just like create a box and it just goes there. Yeah, okay slowly fill your ship up with actual resources no uh you know like leftover materials and that like the prospector so you, you yeah. can if you got the time and i suppose yeah half a dozen guys with a shit load of glow sticks like a rave party in there oh yeah 
you, I could see you making some money if you want to do that, if that's your thing. Yeah, like you say, we, we really need some, you know, a bit more going on in there. It, it would be good if we had some pirates running around in caves, or, uh, pirate bases in a cave sort of thing. Yeah. Sort of take them out. Yeah, I don't think it'd be that hard yeah. to sort that out. That kind of speaks yeah. of the lack but, of yeah. ground gameplay in Star Citizen. So we've got these massive planets and moons. We've like hardly anything on them. Yeah. For the PvP in the caves, if, if you could actually steal the yellow boxes, it would help because you can't actually take them off people. So that yeah. kind of uh, ruins a bit of uh, interaction. And the thing I'd really like to see to, that would make the mining more exciting because that's what happens in real in real mining is if you suddenly strike it rich, if you can get nuggets that are worth an enormous amount, say 50,000 UC, and everyone would be doing it, even if it's a grind, because, you know, maybe just that one time you'll get that exactly. big. Yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, that's how it works in the real world. So they need to put that in to, to drive it. Otherwise, everyone will just go, well, I've done mining a couple of times. I can't be bothered grinding for it. So it's not... not and they'll make me do it anymore. If you yeah. think you might get 50,000 UEC, who you'll be keep going. Be yeah. the same, same for normal ship mining as well. Yeah. So just make um, it more exciting. When, yeah. when Cryco died, and I thought, well, ah, that's all right, I'll just pick up his stuff. No. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, you no. can't do it. <laughs> Crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dying at the moment. Um, yeah, it's crazy that you you know that's not an option. It just there's no persistence for that part of it. And um, but yeah, that that would make things a lot easier um, to kind of get people into into mining. Because I think most people have basically gone into a mine, they've looked around, they've gone, yeah, it's pretty, and then they've left, and that'll be it now um, until they add something. But like you said, that's going to be the easiest option is just to add either like you said some some kind of a, a rare mineral or just put some NPCs in there that you can shoot. Um, and then you that'll keep people going in. I mean, people go into bunkers, and there's nothing really other than shooting NPCs in the face to do in a bunker, but it keeps people going in there like, you know, week in, week out. So chuck a few NPCs in a cave and uh, I'll go and shoot them in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Even like some weapon racks or something. Once you've done yeah. the bunker, if you search around, you can find some weapons like, you know, yeah. rail guns or something that average players might not want to, spend 15 grand setting up one of them or whatever it is you know yeah or turtle um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something something yeah anything. yeah but anyway there you go okay so citizen con uh i'm sure most people might know by now that we are going to citizen con and uh, zero is also coming out and joining us yep yeah. and jag is gonna be meeting up with us as well um yeah. I'll be there in spirit. Yeah, we'll, we'll be having a beer for you. You'll him. be there in our spirits. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of um, getting a little cardboard cutout of silver made, and then we'll just carry him around with us and take like some pictures <laughs> with him. <I'll> just... <laughs> See uh, so we've got the schedule out now. Um, overall, it's looking pretty good. Um, so, Zero, what are, you, what are you most looking forward to seeing at CitizenCon? Yeah, so um, there's a couple of things, and... Uh, um, for sure, the second room that I'm interested in, one was the ship design, where they're going to be talking about that. Maybe yep. letting us have some influence on one ship design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm actually really surprised they're doing that after the, the hassle oh, with the Redeemer. Yeah. <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there was another one, the UI set concept to design, which I was interested in to see what they're actually going to... It's not very clear what it's actually going to be about, but I was interested no. just to see what they're actually going to tell you there yeah but those are two things apart from obviously the big presentations at the beginning and the end no um, um, that's kind of what's hooked me for it so far so the the ui thing i'm kind of interested to see what they're going to show on that because everyone knows the ui in star citizen at the moment is pretty shit um yeah <laughs> so i would be i would like to see kind of what they're planning for it and uh, the problem is at the same time in the other hall uh, there is a, a preview of a, a new high octane game mode coming to Star Citizen, right. um, and I'd also really like to see that. So um, <laughs> I'm not sure which one I'm going to go for yet. Maybe we'll have to split our resources, and I'll I'll film one, 
and you can watch the other one and then you can watch the recording of it afterwards or something. <laughs> well, they're all meant to be going up on YouTube um, yeah. at a later date, so it's fine. But, um, but yeah, I'm kind of interested in both of them. Uh, other than that, there's not really too many clashes for me. Uh, I've got yeah. a kind of a clear path of what I want to see and it's all good. Pretty keen on seeing in the carrick, maybe some jump points and wormhole action. Yeah. Yeah. If you, oh, Is that actually going to happen? Is jump points going to happen? <laughs> yeah. Dreams are free, Croco. Dreams are free. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going with. Uh, my issue, free, but they chip at your soul. So, uh. Yeah. With the carrick, I mean, so there's a hun uh, 131 tasks to complete the carrick in time. Uh, and they're on 47. Uh, so I'm actually starting to... I'm wondering if we see it, if it's going to be like what they did with the Kraken uh, last year, where they show the outside, but they don't, you don't see it flying or, or anything like that. Yeah. It might just be sitting on a landing pad type thing. Yeah. Maybe. Give like a, a, an outer tour of the ship or something and look at this yeah um, yeah I don't know no, I was hoping for a full size one to be in there oh <laughs> man yeah. can you imagine that would be amazing just walking around a huge great big <laughs> yeah that would be cool are they having a, a model of it or something um, do you reckon they're going to make the, the what are they called JP something or other oh the, yeah. the production company uh, they, yeah they said they wanted to build something big wasn't it it was like the interior yeah. Of the carrick they wanted to build it so that people walk through it yeah. um but it was a money thing yeah that'd be awesome if they can you imagine that where like you know some of the um areas at citizen con are actually yeah the insides of uh, the carrick that'd be cool that would be quite cool we'll see that's not gonna happen <laughs> no. that would cost mm. a fortune we need to buy a I few more ships first <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's gonna be a oh yep like a 3D outside tour and sort of get your credit cards ready, start saving now. It's yeah. coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like it, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So do you think we'll actually see a jump point? I know it's been talked a lot about, but do you think it's actually going to happen? No. I think so. Yeah? Right. Pyro's got nothing in it except the derelict um, space station that Mm. So, I mean, how hard is it? If if they do take Delamar out and put uh, Microtech in there, yeah, that's one planet gone. Smaller planet, maybe? No, it would actually be bigger, wouldn't it? Yeah, because, yeah. But I don't know. If you went jump to Pyro, that would just be on another server, maybe? Did yeah. you get a load screen? Or so? I don't know. Yeah. I can't in that hard, surely. If we do see it, I'd be, uh, well, yeah, I'd be kind of worried if if we do see it, we might not actually get it in our hands and for a long time. Yeah, they'll tease it. Yeah, we need uh, the server OCS sorted out before they even think about putting another planet in, really. Yeah, that money, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's the problem is that they, they've got all these massive dreams of what they want and they've got, they, they we know exactly what the plan is. Um, but in order to get there, they've got so many hurdles, and I think that, that there's too many hurdles for that possibly to be a thing yet. Um, I think um, I think I've gone a bit negative recently when it comes to uh, expecting stuff. But um, yeah, you never know. You never know. They might surprise. When us. was when was the um, OCS meant to be coming in? Is it three point eight, three nine? And um, now. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to that be coming in for maybe? kind of slowly phasing in, is what they were talking about now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think they, uh, yeah, I think it was between three seven three eight. They were talking about they wanted it in, but it might get delayed some yeah. more, type thing. Yeah. Yeah. It maybe we'll, maybe we'll get surprised and they'll they'll kind of show it in action. You know, because that'd be amazing. It's yeah, working. Yeah. It, you it, can jump to another system. Exactly. Yeah. That might be part <laughs> of the presentation. Yeah. Yeah. That's their style as well, is, um, you know, kind of hold stuff back because they're near a time when they can push it, like, you know, CitizenCon. Yeah. Um, and then what they'll do is they'll figure out a way to tie that in with 
um, a property that they can sell, you know, a ship or something, and they'll say, now OCS is out, you need one of these, um, and um, that'll make them some money. So, Get your explorer ships ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully that would be really nice if they can if they can get that sorted because there's so many um, there's so many things that are just relying on that to, to exist, um, yeah. you know. So once we get that, I, I think genuinely think that once we get that in, um, and and maybe if, maybe there's a few other techs they need, but that will then propel this game forwards a much quicker rate, um, and um, yeah, that's my hope anyway. One thing I was hoping to see is, you know, like a pirate trading system, particularly pirating. There's things that are missing. You need those tractor beams to yeah. pull in the boxes because it's ridiculous having to pick up boxes one at a time. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, you can't really sell them anywhere either. If you mm. get all the boxes and if you steal a ship, you can't sell either. I can understand why they might resist the ships because it could cause a lot of grief in. But the yeah. cargo, pirating for cargo, which would drive all the pirating to actually happen. You can do the pirating, but effectively you just kill people. You don't yeah, really yeah. get to do much more. You want yeah. to be able to sell all the stuff that you've robbed. Yeah, so, that's what they call them griefers, because there is no yeah. gameplay, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a shame. And I don't know how hard that would be to put in, but seemingly, I can't think it's that tricky. I suppose that's a bit persistence and socks related as well, though. Yeah, um, need to pull their socks up. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think pirating, yeah, pirating is such a big thing as well because there's such a, a larger um, crowd that do want to pirate, but in a proper way, not not just griefing. People get that so confused. The reason that people view it as griefing at the moment is because there is no actual pirate gameplay. So they're really just killing people. And people are like, well, you're griefing. And they're not. It's just that's their only option at the minute to be pirates. Um, you know, so yeah, if they could get something in there whereby it's actually worthwhile and lucrative for people to rob you, maybe, instead of kill you. Or, you know, maybe you escape pod and they blow your ship up and take your cargo and you survive. There's a million ways that it could happen in a different way. Um, but it doesn't because there is no gameplay yet. So. I was thinking too with um, 3.8, isn't the uh, Armistice Zones meant to be dropping? Apparently. If that's the case, then um, <laughs> that could open up a whole new world as well because as it is at the moment, you've only got one place in the whole system that has security with guns that'll kill you. It's Hurston. Mm. You can't go anywhere else to die. So, yeah, if they drop Armistice Zones, arm up Arp Cork, arm up Olisar, or put something there maybe, um, and then bounties, you know, because you could actually fly your, your hawk or something onto a pad if someone's running out, and you could shoot them on the pad yeah. and get paid, you know. Yeah. I think when they drop the Armistice Zones, that might open up a few more more doors there. Yeah. yeah. Definitely That's legal murder. <laughs> I was thinking from the pirating point of view as well, that also makes the interdiction make sense. Because then you're actually interdicting people to grab stuff and just, yeah. Not just only interdicting to killing. Yeah. 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 That's the problem with the Mantis as well, is everyone just assumes it's going to be a griefer ship. But it isn't. It's going to be a brilliant tool for pirates um, eventually. So we'll yeah. see. <laughs> and bounty hunters. They need yeah, to sort yeah. out the uh, the whole law system for that ship properly. At the moment, yeah. you, you get a uh, a crime stat just for turning the thing on. <laughs> yeah, it's a very expensive yeah. red glowing ball. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <just> to, <laughs> it looks amazing. All the way to Hurston to get shot in the face. Yeah, or go and get a hacking kit. But to be honest, I'd, I'd rather get murdered. Yeah, it's quicker and easier. <laughs> I just yeah. usually quantum around until uh, the, the police turn up and kill me. Yeah, so, and, and another quick t thing as well with 3.7 is um, the game packs. Uh, I'm not concierge, so I can't talk for the big packs, but a lot of guys are. And when you do get offered the big packs to buy, there's no game pack in the back in the big packs, and then you also don't get any USC as well. Yeah, mm. there's no there's no little little bit of cherry, you know. And there's nothing on the top. Hmm. Yeah. Seems a bit. So, 
Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it might be a new way they're going with it, I, I don't know, but it's sort of backwards if you ask me. Yeah, really, yeah. every pack should have a, a game package on it, and that's know, right. a few thousand UEC on top. Yeah, for dropping, you know, for buying a pack, for having that much yeah. money up front, you know, yeah. you should be rewarded a bit, you know, not, yeah. not sort of, yeah, but anyway. I mean, UEC doesn't cost them anything because it's not real. Um, game packages, again, I mean, it's just something they can give away. It almost feels a little bit like it's a business decision where they've sort of said, you know, maybe these people have got, I don't know. It, it, yeah, no, there's, there's no real logical reason why you would drop that from that pack at all. It's yeah. weird, very weird decision to make. So, yeah. They do make weird decisions. Yeah. <laughs> test, test on people's wallets. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, it's like fishing in people's wallets. They're just like, no. <laughs> so, as I say, though, I'm always a supporter of people putting big money in, as long as it's someone else. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that kind of segues into the next topic, really, of uh, the actual gameplay in Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of gameplay loops, what, what is your favourite so far? Silver, go on. Shooting things? Um, <laughs> I, I actually, like, in, in the PU, you mean? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, I like just hanging out, um, obviously, with the org. So we go and do trades together with escorts. I mean, way out in our corp, you're not really getting hassled that much, but it's all just training. So we, we just like to get together and, yeah, do that. Bunkers and bounties, sharing bounties together. You like to mix just it going up around as a group. Yeah, just go around as a group sort of thing. Um, just doing training, really. And making making money and pimping out ships, putting sweet, sweet guns on, you know, on defenders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing and, rips and, faces. <laughs> yeah, and off to the side, we like to group up with in Arena Commander, you know, just for combat training as well. And, yeah. So. What about you, Zero? Yeah, yeah. Um... Jag, Tomo and I have been packing up and hunting uh, player bounties. That's been fun. And just going down to the, you know, the cave on Daymar, there's been a bit of action around there. So yeah, we've okay. been going down there and, and bumping into people and having a bit of action. So I think that's been the most fun that in the game at the moment. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not actually many gameplay loops in the game yet. Yeah. Is, uh... An ongoing joke now for like a year. Yeah, yeah. We had a post. What was it? Um, maybe a month ago, where they were saying, you know, um, they were complaining about gameplay loops and the fact that you know we haven't even got tier zero on pretty much any of the the loops at the moment. Um, I mean, I love um, I love the, the mining <clears throat> um, aspect of this game is amazing, but I don't think that it's there yet. Um, but the trades just seems to be the most kind of consistent way to to play this game that's what a lot of people are doing is just it's just trade running um but then since npcs have been a lot better bounty and bunkers seems to be what a lot of people are doing and if you watch anyone streaming this game that's kind of what they're doing now they're just going out and killing people uh, earning money so that seems to be the most kind of i think the most maybe worthwhile you know because you can make some money but it's also fun you know um and if you have a 30k in a bounty or in a um, a bunker mission, it's not the end of the world. But if you have a thirty k whilst you're transporting <laughs> fifty thousand UEC of something, yeah. then it's a yeah, it's it's a real pain. So I think that's probably that's the right. most consistent. Mm, yeah. Best done in groups, especially the trading. Yeah, you have two people in case one thirty k's or anything. Yeah, share the load. Always, um, always bedlog one of them as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's good as well that, that Zero said about, um, was it Daymar, did you say, about the, the cave? Yeah. Um, yeah, because that's these are good things to know, these little kind of tidbits of um, what people are up to at the minute and where you're seeing people. Because if you, A, you want a pirate or bounty hunt, or B, you just well, like us, you're, you've, you're on a stream and you've got two hours to cause some trouble, um, it's a good place to go, you know, if you want to, you know, <laughs> want to murder some people in a cave. But, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, this is interesting. What about you, Croker? What's what what's what keeps you coming back to this game time and time again? Um, mostly, I'm doing uh, combat mercenary missions when I'm yeah. I'm on uh, either like stolen 
proper E ones or uh, taking out um, nine tails nests, that sort of thing. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't have big ships, so trading's kind of off the table for me. I don't have a prospector, so mining's off the table for me. Uh, mm. So really, it's just combat and now uh, FPS mining. They're the mm. two things I can really do effectively in the universe at the moment uh, until we get something else. Yeah. I think FPS mining will bring me back into this game a bit more than because lately I've not really played this that much on my own because I don't really I enjoy this as a social game for me more than anything else I just like hanging out with you guys and going around the verse that's my thing um, but um, I think that I could see myself coming on now more um, and just flying to a cave and doing some mining hand mining because that to me it's relaxing and it's fun um, and it's creepy I love those caves so uh, yeah I think um I think that's one little gameplay element that could, yeah, could kind of draw me back in again. So um, I'm pleased with that. Very Just watch your back in case uh, Zero or Jack sneak up behind you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not a bounty. Um, although I do <laughs> seem to have a crime stat, but I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I blame Silver. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> I can't blame myself. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Yeah, so in the mining, um... It's good fun to go down in a group and, and it helps to not get lost. You've got yeah. other people saying, well, I'm over here and you can see their direction. So yeah. you can help find each other out. out. But if you're on your own, it's quite a lot tougher. You've got oh, yeah. no clues to, to see other directions. Although there was a point where three of us were going round and round in a circle, just <laughs> finding each other and going, oh, hang on, we're back yeah. where we started again. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> It's a proper maze in there as well because when um, when Cryco snuffed it and I was going around on my own and um, the, the, you go in, you just keep going and because everything does look the same, it's all pretty and it's but it, it's okay, you know. It's, and um, there were points where I was like, I feel like I've been here, but you can't be one hundred percent sure. And that is when you're screwed. It's the minute that you think you might have already been here, uh, but you're not sure. Then you you're never going to find your way out. Um, it's just potluck. But I think that whole you know being able to throw down um, flares and like you said, having mates in there to be able to spread out. Um, even if just one of you survives, you can tell everyone else's you know grandchildren or whatever about them. Something I don't know. That's it. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty cool. So I think I'll have to come in with you guys. Um, at some point and um well i think i think if we can get that going for th a thursday i think that'd be a really fun thing to do get everyone on on a thursday go caving get some mining pick up some poo yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it was quite funny watching tomo was uh doing fine and he just overdid it and blew himself up that's quite funny yeah, as well. <laughs> yeah it happens <laughs> yeah, easily done. So. Amps are the best of us. <laughs> so, are there any gameplay loops you guys are looking forward to? Anything particular? Repair for me, mate. Oh yeah, you got Crucible. Repair. Right? Mm. Well, not yet, but yeah, You're gonna... eventually I'll be getting one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, capital ship bridge uh, delegations. You know, uh, yeah. that's sort of talking through comms. You know, working with ships around you through through the bridge. I don't know how they're going to do it yet, but it's a yeah. little bit I have seen of it. It seems, yeah, it could be good. Yeah, yeah salvage for me would be good. Watching the reclaimers working. Yeah. And like maybe personal salvage as well. We have to pick up pieces like guns and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the other yeah. night we saw like size four attritions laying on the floor. I just wanted yeah. to pick it up and throw it in the back <laughs> of a ship. Bad <laughs> <laughs> um, DB. I think for me, um, well, can you guess? Can you guess what it is yet? Healing? Uh, <laughs> medical <laughs> gameplay? gameplay? Yeah, medical gameplay for me. Um, I'm very excited for that. I was so pissed off when they moved the Cutlass Red back. Not that I could do anything with it, but I just wanted to just be in it. I just want to be inside it. Well, they've okay. moved it. Gonna have... <laughs> they've moved it back. That's what they all say. They have um, oh. double beds, isn't it, in the pictures? Uh, yeah, according to that kind of sneak peek picture if that is the cut of red which we're hearing it is yeah then it's yeah. got two beds in it um that picture actually kind of threw me off because the dimensions don't look right and the door placement doesn't look right it, it yeah. doesn't look like a, a cutlass red interior um, yeah but apparently it is it's confirmed by someone it means i can have sleepovers yeah yeah <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> the interesting <laughs> thing, though, in on the yeah. roadmap, uh, the Cutlass Red's due out in 3.8, uh, yeah. but there's no tasks completed. But then yeah, we're seeing yeah, sneak yeah. peek pictures of it. So um, either the roadmap's not been updated properly, or, or it is the Carrick. Or it is the Carrick and someone's lying. Uh, yeah, maybe. Mm. Um, I mean, the idea behind the Cutlass Red was that it was basically pretty much the same as the, the, the Black, but they've got that module for the the um, med bay in the back, which takes up one section. It's one section, side section, where the you know, the, the, the door is. Um, so I don't know, yeah. But that's what I want. I want that. And eventually I want my Apollo, um, which I haven't bought yet, but I will. Um, but um, You're not going to get that in game? Um, I, I I want to. I want to earn it in game. Whether or not I'll be patient enough to earn it in game, we'll see. Um, you know, I'm like, I'll be like, what? More than two minutes? I take my money. Um, but um, <laughs> yeah, you never know. I mean, I'd like to earn it in game, um, but we'll see. Um, that, I think if you're in the right org, you'd get it pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing. That's I mean, sort of money. But we, you know, we've got our own org, which we may or may not build up i don't know really but if not then we'll probably just when the game's released or before we'll we'll, we'll become part of like a a nice big organization you know like um like a, a some sort of a space alliance i don't know um <laughs> yep. but um yeah i think um i think eventually we will do um but what you were saying about the whole kind of bridge communication um on the large capital vessels that to me that is the that's going to be the most exciting thing to see in this game is a huge ship that requires a multi crew, yeah. a big multi crew, and then people actually having someone in charge of that, planning everything out, mm. making sure people are doing their jobs. Yeah, it, it feels like work. To, it's going to be awesome. Mm. And to pull it off, the satisfaction will be unlike yeah. any other game. If you pull off a good, successful, you know, fleet battle yeah. through the best communications and training you get your simulation creeping in there as well yeah it's good, good teamwork so yeah i'm looking forward to that i'll always find a comparison between this and wow because you know that they exist but it's like a it's like a it's like a major raid in um in wow everyone has a job to do everyone's has a very specific niche target you know you've got to do this thing and you've got to, you know make sure this dude gets sapped or whatever you know polymorphed and um and it, if everyone does their job perfectly it goes smoothly and when you're done you sit back and go that was brilliant you know and everyone's yeah. proud of themselves you're gonna have that same feeling in this game um so i really do hope they they do that well because um that's going to be a really interesting thing to watch yeah definitely. yeah i think some the content when it is released with all this stuff we're talking about the content on youtube some of the stuff they're going to be pulling off in videos on that it's just going to be a, a whole new level of everything yeah, yeah. It, it would be literally like being in and playing a movie yeah yeah exactly yeah. it'd be a star trek film essentially yeah um, mm. We'll definitely have to tag along to ASA if we don't have a capital ship ourselves eventually. We'll have to tag along to an ASA, uh, um, yeah, some sort of a op, and, um, and, and uh, yeah, get plenty of footage. And, and Jag and myself were also talking about, you know, like the explorer ships or like the Carrot and that. Where you've got like a crew and you, it feels a bit like Firefly, Serenity, yeah. uh, where you've got a little bunch of people who are just traveling around, going to different places, working together, doing different things. That, that, you know that just feels like a tv series that you're in yeah, so yeah. this is another kind of element that's similar to that but not on the massive battle but just small just hanging around doing things that's yeah. and be. making lots of money too yeah yeah you'll be scanning rocks that have that ultra rare you know whatever yeah. that somebody needs and you'll sell that data for fucking heaps or yeah. rob or robbing the guy that's just found it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we're, 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 we're slowly learning quite a lot about you here zero <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, uh, well, jack and i we started off saying yeah we're going to be like really good then you realize yeah there's a lot of fun happening when you're doing those things and yeah not when you're yeah, not a cutler 
you just slowly too, so you're going to yeah, yeah exactly yeah. you slowly yeah. slip into the dark side you didn't mm. mean to honest <laughs> <laughs> it happens it happens yeah no i can that that that's that's the other side of it is that kind of ragtag bunch of like yeah lunatics going around the, the you know the, the verse just just causing trouble we have no real agenda no real aim you can just firefly it just go around and find missions to do and yeah i think this game eventually is going to be um immense absolutely immense um but we need to see some of it soon i think that's the problem we need to see some of this soon otherwise um you know it's, it's going to start to feel like a, a pipe dream you know yeah all those things need to connect and to an yeah. economy as well the economy needs to start working a bit but obviously it's all on the socks again that you need <laughs> that and persistence to make all those things work yeah so, good old socks if they can pull it off it's going to be amazing yeah so I guess that kind of segues into the, the next topic that we were going to discuss is the the roadmap, really. Yeah, um, we've got a view of up to 4.0. I mean, 4.0 is basically just where things have fallen back and they've been put in there. Yeah. Um, so there's nothing absolutely. really new on there, apart from the Starlifter uh, as the as the ship for 4.0. What about, what about Titan suits, Crocker? Where are they at now? Are they 3.9? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I I can't really remember. Um Yeah, they were they were due out fairly soon and that got moved again. Mm. Um but past 4.0 we we've got no sight of anything yet. I assume that's because they're going it's going to be something related to what they're going to show in Citizen Con. Um, Probably. They're going to show a bunch of things off and we're going to look, "Oh, look at that." And then they mm. say, "Yeah, it's going to be in 4.1 and 4.2." There you go. Yeah. Um but uh, you know, what would you like to see? Really, uh, is there anything you would like in the sort of beginning, or middle of next year? Uh, Squadron Forty Two would be good. That <laughs> should be dropping. Yeah. yeah. Or even a even a beta of it would be good. That's the idea. Was that mm. we're going to get a beta sort of middle of next year? Mm. But with with the way things always pan out, I can see it getting pushed back. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely. It's a big thing to to do as well, and you know they. I, I think a lot of the time with CIG, their eyes are bigger than their stomach when it comes to a lot of these things, and yeah, I think they underestimate a little bit what you know the the, the jobs that need to be done. Um, but they do get there eventually, um, and um, yeah, I can foresee that being maybe maybe like quarter three of next year, maybe something like that before we see the beta. Um, and, um, but yep. Fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> well, they need Squadron Forty Two to come out to bump the player base up from say a million uh, with two million accounts because people have multiple accounts. They need their player base up around the 10, 15 million if they can produce a good game. Yeah. Then their money to fund the rest of the game yep. with having what well, ten, fifteen times more people buying ships. Yeah. It it could blow out to a billion dollar fucking game. Oh, easily. First. Yeah. First billion dollar game in history, you know. So mm -hmm. I could see it going that way if if they can produce the goods. If That's they got the, the minerals, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and I mean you saw it with the the, the Kickstarter. The fir the first introduction you had to this game was like, oh, we, we're thinking about making a game, and everyone just went money. Um, <laughs> And, you know, it was unbelievable how much money they made off that original Kickstarter. So if that's anything to go by, I, I can't... I, the only way that they're going to fail is if they do something fundamentally wrong, which is promise us stuff and not deliver it. That's when it's going to fall over. But I think even if they take some five years longer than they we're hoping for, eventually they bring this stuff out, the people will come. <laughs> not literally, but... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I've just had a look for the Titan suit, and it's not actually on the roadmap anymore. Oh, wicked. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Either that's been bumped back, or if it's going to be a surprise appearance um, mm -hmm. at some point. Who knows? Uh, Titan suit's kind of cool, but with the limited amount of ground-based gameplay in the game at the moment, it's going to be a ballista oh, all over again. Yeah. I was thinking... 
No, I was thinking more like uh, you get different variants of it. Obviously, you get the machine gun variant or whatever like that, but they have one with like tractor beams on it so you can move your cargo by tens mm. or twenty at a time. That could be kind of like cool. Like Zero was saying yeah. before. And a mining yeah. variant. Let's go do cool. trades. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be like, let's go do trades. Right, we need two guys with Titan suits, you know, for cargo runners. We need one guy that can actually sell it, and we but, need possibly one or two pilots, yeah. you know. And, and stuff like that so reminds yeah, me of the uh, auto loader suits. suits out of aliens yeah yeah that's what I, yeah. yeah exactly it's awesome maybe they do <laughs> maybe they are holding this back for maybe that's that is their plan like you said with citizen call maybe they are keeping some things uh, you know close oh, to their yeah, chest just so they can reveal them you know and, and make a big show of it which is fine um, because it will make citizen con really exciting um i hope that is the case though i hope we don't get there and they're just like well look at the stuff have fun <laughs> you know we, we want some shinies damn it uh, yeah <laughs> now we've got no thing i was noticing sorry the thing i was noticing was the close combat is coming in 3.8 mm. and uh like i, I was <laughs> wondering how they're going to stop people from all running around hitting each other on fighting in the in all the <laughs> places <laughs> That's basically going to be it. People just running around ninja chopping each other. Yeah. I can see a crying cow video. It would be hilarious. Six of us together. Yeah. Right, last one standing gets 20,000 UC. It's bad enough. Yeah, it's bad enough. It's just, yeah, well, it's going to be, it's going to be horrendous. It would be hilarious also. Get off that terminal. (laughs) Yeah. I want to do my shopping. (laughs) What (laughs) up? Chop. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's going to be brilliant. I, I, I foresee some hilarious videos in our future if 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 that is the case. Um, I wonder if there's going to be any way for them to police it. That would really suck if you couldn't <laughs> me- like if you couldn't melee combat. Yeah. In an no arm touching, but we'll yeah. shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be fine. I mean, if, if I ninja <laughs> chop someone in the back of the head while they're like I don't know shopping at a terminal, then shoot me or or arrest me. One of the two. Maybe don't shoot me. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, It'll just be a fine, wouldn't it? Oh, sorry, that's yeah, two thousand pounds. Yeah, two thousand USD. It'd be worth it. <laughs> run, running up behind, uh, behind Jag and just whoppa. Yeah, so, <laughs> right there, but, you know, you know who you are. But yeah, that would be funny. Um, anyone got anything else on the roadmap? Uh, micro tech. I mean. What do you think about that? Uh, I'm kind of indifferent about it, really. Um, yeah. As we know, they're probably going to have to, without socks working, uh, they're going to have to take a planet out to put another one in. So yeah. it's just going to replace something we've already got. Uh, it's just going to look a bit different. I'm yeah. kind of indifferent about Microtech. The one I'm really looking forward to seeing is Crusader. With the, yeah. the gas clouds and um, floating city and all that sort of thing, that's that's going to be the big one for me. This yeah. screenshot, um, with dream screenshot guys, you know, just flying eight nineties through the clouds. Oh yeah, with the sun and definitely. <laughs> our, our, our Discord is just good, like blah, 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 just full of uh, <laughs> yeah. full of them. Um, yeah, yeah, that that is a big one as well. I think um, the, the 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 gas, um, yeah, the the Hurston one. So I um, Microtech doesn't. Yeah, I've, I've not. It, it doesn't excite me. It's interesting. It'd be nice to look at because it's just be it'd be different. But um, yeah, there isn't really much driving me on at the minute. I think um, all I'm waiting for really on the roadmap, as I've said, and I will say over and over again, is probably just to sit in a Cutlass Red. Um, so I know that you know medical gameplay is coming, and then that's pretty much it. And then I'll just judo chop people. <laughs> judo chop them into the medical bed. Yeah. Yep. Into the medical bed. Yeah. <laughs> so get in there. In. <laughs> yeah. I think Microtech makes more sense from their point of view. It's developing technologies for making all yeah. different planets and moons, so I can see yeah. why they're bringing it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather some of the gameplay thing to be about working better. I think everyone would, you know, we've got plenty of pretty. We just want some more things working. So that, yeah. in a way, I think that that makes sense for them because you can't test things if they're not working. Uh, no, and no. if they don't put all those things in 
working. I'm not going to be testing them until a lot later, so they need to put them in a bit more. Yeah, yeah. It's all down to the Squadron 42. I mean, they're throwing all yeah. the resources at Squadron 42, so if uh, salvaging's not needed for that, then we're not going to see it. Well, no. It's not on the roadmap till 4.0, which is like the middle of the next year anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. What can you do? But I, I make you right there. I think um, the, the they 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 have to put in certain things in order for them to get their testing done to get their um, propel them further. But yeah, it's frustrating for everyone else who is just playing the game and has to just fight through bugs and fight through broken systems, which they know are broken, but are just leaving broken because that's kind of part of the plan. Um, it is frustrating, um, and it would be nice to see some new actual gameplay in. But, um, but yeah, again, so long as so long as they do keep adding, that's the important thing. You know, if it goes stale, that's when you need to worry. But so long as they're still working on it, I'm happy. Yeah, I, th I think when the when the game's finished, uh, yeah, well, if it ever will be, you know, it's it's mm. not an ever flowing. But we're so used to waiting for things and the excitement yeah. of getting new things. Actually, it might be a bit of a, a lull if you yeah. actually didn't have that constant growth that we're used to. So it, it kind of really hooks cool. everyone in in a way. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> just kind of like, well, you know, well, I don't want a completed game. <laughs> yeah, well, we want more. Yeah. Dance season two. <laughs> I think, like for the people that have been here a long time and they're every little bit they drip feed us and we we do it yep yep so we're good at that and we're good at this somebody after they get squadron 42 you know and, and they drop something and say a year after that the learning curve for the game is going to be massive like yeah. it that could turn people off as well and mm. you know if you don't have good orgs sucking up new players and actually teaching them they're just going to get lost and and they're just going to be fodder yeah that's so. one of the problems you got especially with like mechanics with like mining for example if a new player came in picked up a prospector and went mining they would have no idea what they're doing yeah exactly yeah they blow up a lot oh yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah when death up. really counts yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, that would yeah. Be harsh yeah. And with insurance in place, it's like, oh yeah, that was a good game on Monday. I'll come back and give it another go Wednesday when it's yeah. when the insurance is ready. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But it is going to be painful for new players because um, yeah, yeah cause there is no real like there is no real tutorial as such or whatnot. I know, I know that they're planning. I think when the game comes out to have a basic um, like a not a cheat sheet but I don't know what you'll call it it's essentially going to be like a, a how-to guide um, but um, whether that happens or not will, remains to be seen but it is going to be hard for new players when all these mechanics are in and you get into a universe and you just think what, what do I do? What am I, I doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's scary I mean you saw me hand mining the other day it was embarrassing um, you know because I'd never I, I didn't realise that it was the same as mine and I'm just going well push buttons do stuff um, it was working but um, you know once you know these things it's fine but when you don't know them you do look like an idiot especially <laughs> on the stream yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I'd yeah, half definitely. expect Squadron 42 to be a bit of a a training mission so to speak for the game yeah. you know it'll be oh we got to go take such and such out so get on the bridge and do this and do that and it'll sort of teach you it'll be basically their tutorial <laughs> Yeah. But you're paying for it. <laughs> <Expensive tutorial. laughs> That's how yeah, I kind of so. treated uh, Battlefield. I, I used to go in the single player version on Battlefield, the, the campaign, yeah. as like yeah. a, a tutorial of like picking up yeah, exactly. new things yep. before yep. I jumped into the multiplayer. It was yeah. just the yep, way I did exactly. it. Yeah. I do do worry it might become a bit like Eve though, and it'll be like, you know, virtually you have to join an org for a protection racket when you start the game because you're yeah. just too vulnerable on your own at the start and you don't want that to happen because you want people to be able to join in and just have a little i guess if you've got like safer areas with start they'll be stuck that, in zones that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah that will uh provide some protection for people to slowly begin i mean that was eve though wasn't it in a nutshell it was you know if you were in um i want to say security five space i can't remember how it worked now then you know that's where your noobs would fly around and just enjoy themselves 
um, and then you just have orgs further out in space. That was it. Um, I mean, yeah. we were we were part of an org, and um, we were undergeared to be like mining in null space or whatever it was. Messing, but we yeah. did, you know, because we had an org that could come and sort us out if needs be. And um, you just wouldn't do that. So yeah, it, it will limit the game. I think. You, you, I think it will be. It will be a much. Um, I think it'll be a better Eve. Um, but I still think that you're right. It's going to be bordering on Eve territory when it comes to that. Definitely. Yep. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, it's hard to say. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eve was a good game. Uh, he's a good game, you know. Um, it's still still played now. And um, they, 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 they got the economy right. They did a lot of things right in that game. So um, if this does become a better Eve, then I'd buy it twice, you know, because Eve was amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. The the plus, jump ship too. The plus point yeah. about the Eve economy is that everything's player built. Um, Everything on the market yeah. is made by a player or looted by a player and sold on the market. Um, that is a really big plus for that game. Yeah. I just wonder how Star Citizen is going to manage that. Yeah, you, you get this kind of organic economy that, that, that it kind of works because of the players. It works because of the number of players. And, you know, if, um, yeah... Uh, if Star Citizen are going to try and micromanage their economy themselves rather than allow it to be uh, an ebbing and flowing thing, I think they're going to struggle. I think they will struggle. I mean, um, all most yep. games are player created. Um, you know, a lot of games, should I say, are player created economies. I mean, hmm, I'm going to say it again. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> but again, it, the auction system in that is the same as Eve. You know, it's it's player driven. Mm. All the prices are player driven. You know, people can ride, ramp the prices down, but it affects. It has a knock on effect on everything. So, people have to be sensible. And it was the same in Eve. So, uh, yeah, I hope they get that right because um, it's gonna it's gonna be a big part of this game. Yeah, and that's what you should be able to do is um, you know store high price commodities in your hab or your bunkers that you make and with the pioneers. Wait for the price to go up, yeah. you know, and then just bam, have three ca um, hull seas just full of, you know, the right gear because you've yeah. mined something and sort of stashed it. Sort of like what our friends in the middle of the world do with everything. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I would love to see is um, I'd love to see like a massive orc go and get like some epic resource that's quite difficult to obtain. They take it back and they store it, then they go back and they blockade that until the market oh, yeah. just you know all the prices just go up because nobody <laughs> yeah. then they sell and then they release it you know and mm -hmm. they just do that whenever they need money there's a million ways you could really mess with an economy if it is player controlled so yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see. <laughs> i think also like the thought of um people being able to construct like little shanty towns on you know like you're saying there's so much empty moon there's yeah planets if you could do that, they'll start filling out those spaces. There'll be there are little things that pick players of uh, players have created here and yeah. there, or, or on asteroids. That'd be superb. That would be cool. Build little bases and asteroids and stuff as well. So, be like Minecraft, though, like, where like you go onto a server and all of a sudden there's just all these random buildings. Just <laughs> <laughs> people have just gone unused. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. That would be cool. If the former cleanup crew just to go around and erase people's. Bases that they're not using. Yeah, salvaging, yeah, salvaging it all. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> is zero, like a like a Dyson cruising around the planet. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's what we need those tractor beams for. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Bring that's it back to the crucible, mate, and we'll be able to fix up some armor and some ships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, good one. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so there you have it, folks. Uh, that is our cowcast for this month. Um, we have covered quite a lot. Three point seven has been interesting. You know, there is there is some some substance there, but it's there's there's also a lot of problems. So you know, we we're we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, we hope you like uh, this type of video, um, and um, we hope you enjoy our chats with our subscribers. And I want to thank uh, uh, one more time that guy. You want to thank Black <laughs> Those guys. Uh, <clears throat> thank the old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank Grandpa. Um, <clears throat> right, one second. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I want to thank uh, Zero. Thanks very much for joining us this week. You're welcome. 
Yeah. And uh, Silver, thank you very much. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Ah, uh, she's gone. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it. I wanted to thank the dog. And, um, yeah, uh. so, um, and as always, Cryco, thank you for sitting next to me. Over there. <laughs> there. There, one of these. He's in a direction. One of those. Um, below you. <laughs> he's, below, yeah, he's below me. Um, no, it is good fun having a chat with you guys. There's the dog. What's the dog's <laughs> name? Uh, this is Jazzy. Jazzy. Little Jazzy. Jazzy girl. Yeah. So if you could just put the headphones on Jazzy, I want to have a chat. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, it's um, it's it's really good fun to um, to you know, be able to sit and have a chat with you guys about this sort of stuff and um, just air out some bits and bobs um you know about these new patches um i think we're going to try and do one of these you know try and do one every month um it's just kind of getting everyone's timings all oh, punch my mic uh, getting everyone's timings together but i think we will we'll try and do these a bit more regularly yeah. and um, anything you want yeah, to add sure. Marco, before we disappear no 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 if you are going to citizen con and, and fancy making up for a drink or during the actual event then let us know on a discord Definitely, yeah. Join the Discord. I'll pop some links um, in the description. I'll put one on the screen. Um, and um, yeah, don't forget to yeah join our Discord. And we, we, you know, if you want to play with us, if you want to be on a cow cast, you know, all this sort of stuff, uh, join our Discord. And there's plenty going on. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's it. So thanks very, very much, everyone, for watching. And um, we will see you again in the future. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, catch up. <laughs> I love that. <laughs>